you will see where where are they now? They are in Corinth. Okay, they are in Corinth. Uh, with that mission center mind, okay, and Paul was convinced that Corinth would not be the mission center. And Holy Spirit uh, directed him the mission center would be Ephesus. So it was a long distance, very long distance. So Paul, he took off travel again back to Ephesus, okay, which Paul previously planted a church in Ephesus in the province of Asia. So Paul arrived at Ephesus. And Acts chapter 18, verse 19 said, okay, now at the time, Paul and Luke and Silas and Timothy and Priscilla and Aquila. You see, you notice that Wife's name comes the first, Priscilla and Aquila. Okay, now, of course, upon their arrival, they visited Jewish synagogue again on Sabbath, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, okay, in the synagogue. And then, Paul discussed with his teams to find out a location for a future mission center. That was a Paul's mind all the time. Okay? His mind was centered on the Roman Empire mission. That was his mind. Okay? In order to fulfill that mission, Paul already determined his mind that we ought to set up the mission center, okay, transferred from Antioch to at least here in Ephesus, which is near to the mission field, okay, near to mission field. Now, I say purpose of the mission center was clear. He said, okay, just not just the building. The building, the purpose of the building was to train the leaders. Train the leaders. You see, here you uh, notice that during the second missionary journey, he had planted, including the first missionary journey, many churches all over here, many churches. Okay, now Paul always was convinced that we need leadership training. Okay, church planting is the initial stage but second, very vital uh, task, leadership training. That was a very necessary requirement for building up Christian ministries, leadership training. In order to do that, there is one option that Paul and his teams Visiting each individual churches and teaching, that's one. Or building up a one center and bringing all leaders to that center and exclusively training them for a certain period of, period of time. Okay? That was his strategy. In order to 
fulfill that vision, he decided to build a mission center in the city of Ephesus. Okay? And inviting all the possible leaders okay, out of all these churches in which he already planted. That was a purpose. And there are two objectives uh, in the leadership training. Two objectives. First objective is this. I did not write down there. Now, first objective is two, strengthening and build up local church pastors. Okay? That's the first objective. Second objective, okay, out of the training, some of them, instead of a local level leader and missionary leader serving other cultural people by way of dispatching these potential leaders to other tribal areas, okay, in order to cover up entire Europe. Two objectives, so which we'll, we will study that in the third missionary journey, okay? So eventually he planted the school of Tyrannos, that is third missionary journey, which we will study later more in detail, okay? Now, that was his idea, leaders, in the, the gathering the people from provinces of Asia and Macedonia and Greece and Achaia in this map. He, pick, he will pick up leaders and bring them to here in Ephesus, mission center. Not only training one week program, which we will learn later, he spent at least two years together, nothing but focusing on training them, two years exclusively. See, we have built up this AMI center, okay, which I have learned the Paul's strategy. That's why we built this center. Not only preaching the gospel to our own people, but our exclusive teaching objective was to train international leaders and sending them out of the center throughout the world, which we have done that last 25 years. Now, to participate in, to fulfill the Roman Empire missions. It was Paul's vision. Okay? It was Paul's vision. Now, with that vision, Paul shared with his colleagues, okay, along with Priscilla and Aquila, okay, who we assume that was a primary financial supporter for Scylla and Aquila. We needed such a person. Okay? Now, and Paul told them that, now, I am going to go back to our home church, Antioch, to report my Second missionary journey stories, okay? And also, to report them, I will move mission center from Antioch to Ephesus. Therefore, we Antioch church people, please support my vision, my proposal, and you participate in these missions in order to convince them, he decided to go back to his home church, Antioch. 
and asking his teams, you stay in this city, Ephesus, looking for a right property, good place for the mission center. And Priscilla and Aquila, you work in this city and raising fund for this purpose. And I will even ask the leaders in Antioch to support financially to build up this church, mission center. Not only that, if we invite those leaders in the third missionary journey, I will tell them around 100 leaders participated, okay, and providing them room and board free and for two years exclusively, which will cost them a lot of money. Okay? So those leaders in Antioch Church and the leaders in Philippian Church and Priscilla and Aquila, those financiers, they all work together to operate that center missions. With that vision, Paul, okay, he left Ephesus, okay, and he arrived here in this is uh, this is Israel here, okay. He arrived. The ocean liner arrived in you know, Caesarea. This is Jerusalem here. Caesarea. This is a harbor land, okay. From Caesarea. And it traveled back to Antioch. So here, came to Caesarea, okay? Bible said that. Then from Caesarea, went up to Antioch. That is the end of second missionary journey. Okay? That Acts here, Acts 18.22 Acts 18.22 is the end of the second missionary journey. And next time in third missionary journey, start with Acts 18.23. Verse 23, next verse, is the beginning of third missionary journey, which we will study later. Okay? In terms of uh, period, he started AD 50 and ended up here with AD 52. Okay? The third missionary journey started 53. He stayed in Antioch for six months, about six months. Okay? After the six months, he took off for third missionary journey. Not much waiting. Not much wasting his time. Then third missionary journey started 53 to 57. That we will study next time. So today we have finished second missionary journey of Paul. By the grace of God, the, our Holy Spirit has led us nicely and may fullness of the Holy Spirit be with all of you, including those who are studying out of this uh, video. Okay? May God's blessings be upon all of you. In his name, amen. <laughs>